What's going on guys? How's it going? My name is Justin and today I bring you Link's Awakening. Okay. So, if you weren't aware, this game just came out today. Uh, it is the remake of Link's Awakening. Uh, the second remake, actually. There was Link Awake Link's Awakening and Link's Awakening DX for the Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Uh, and now, after all these years and glorious, glorious uh, three-dimensional-ish style, we have it again for the Switch. Uh, purpose for this video, uh, one, obviously it's a playthrough, it's a let's play, and, uh, you guys hopefully will enjoy it. Uh, and second, I want to show you guys how to do a perfect, 100%, like, everything playthrough, like, no deaths, collect everything, all heart pieces, all secret shells, all trade items, you know, where to basically farm rupees, because you're going to need those to buy items that can be expensive, uh, as well as get the secret ending, because there is a different ending if you beat the game without dying. That is a uh, huge task ahead of us, uh, but I think we can handle it. And hopefully uh, you guys, you know, if you like what you see, smash that subscribe button. I'll go ahead and get that out of the way. Drop me a like down below, leave me some comments. So, uh, I am doing this gameplay style a little bit different. You'll notice that my camera uh, will cut out. I may pop it back in here or there throughout the video if I need to emphasize something with my face or hands or something. I doubt it's going to happen, but I, I don't want to interrupt the full view of the game for some reason. I, I love Legend of Zelda more than literally, literally any other franchise. All right, so first bit of Easter egg, if you weren't aware, you start a new game, uh, you got normal, you got hero. Twice damage, no drops, no heart drops. Uh, this is for advanced players, obviously. Uh, we're just gonna play it on normal. I, I'm not trying to get my, my, my butt handed to me here. All right, so the first of two Easter eggs uh, you can name yourself Zelda. It changes the music. Ooh, it's spicy. What? Alright. The second Easter egg is naming yourself Toda Ki Toda Kiki Toda Kiki uh, don't quote me on that basically 
It's an Easter egg from the the audio composer for a lot of the Legend of Zelda's, not to mention a ton of other Nintendo games. Uh, and he was notorious for having snuck in this little Easter egg theme song of his. You may have heard this in other games. It, it's actually pretty prevalent. This is actually kind of a, a funky little remix to it. All right, let's get into... Now me, uh, I'm classic. I don't think it's a, a, a Legend of Zelda game if you're not playing as Link. Let's get in here. Oh, you wake up. Oh, it was a bad dream. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You are on Koholint Island. Yo. Alright. Go over and see this weird Mario looking dude. Well, Link, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Terran. Hope you're feeling better. What? Did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of this shield. And that's how you get your Hylian shield. Duh. This is the shield you will spend most of the game with. Alright. Hey, what are you doing to my chest? Where'd you learn to do such a thing? That is obviously a homage to classic RPG games where you used to search through people's uh, uh, dress of drawers and whatnot for, for hidden items. Uh, there are also two pedestals here for collector's items. Uh, I believe one is uh, the Piranha Plant and the other is a Goomba. Leave the house. Mave Village. Now, there really isn't anything you can do. Uh, until you get your sword, of course. You can't cut anything. You can't fight. You definitely can't fight. Oh, chain chop. Uh, so basically what you do is you start heading south. All the way down to the beach. Ooh, nice flip there, sir. Oh. And when you get to these guys, you can use your shield to push them out of the way. Ah! Of course. Not to worry. Ouch. Okay. Got my sword now. Hoot, hoot, who are you? Oh, you're the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. Oh, so it's my fault. The courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I would wait for you there, Hoot. Bye, Mr. Owl. All right. Take. You found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. His Link puts his name on everything. And of course, you can uh, kill things by swinging your sword with B, whatever you're pointing at, facing, like that. Okay. Some hearts back. Whoa. And as you go, you're going to want to cut whatever grass you come across in hopes of some sweet, sweet money that people seem to always drop in the grassy areas. <laughs> Ow. Uh, and of course, hit the plus sign, pulls up your menu where you can check out your inventory, you have your heart containers, items, of course, and I have nothing. Scroll to the left, you have the map. 
Start out with Mabe Village and Turanbo Shores. Uh, the cool thing on this map, you can check memories, basically things that have already happened to tell you where they did happen. Uh, pieces of heart found and seashells, secret seashells found, how many of course. Uh, you also can, want to move around, you can add a pin wherever you like. Uh, I'm going to use obviously hearts for heart pieces. Uh, circles probably for bombs uh and then if there's like secret any anything that uh i can't quite get to something that i think i need to come back to later i will put a treasure chest or something like that basically you get to mark on the map where things are hidden and of course if you scroll to the right you have your save screen as well as buttons button layout Alright, so, first order of business. Head back into town. And right next to these two boys playing ball is the library. Now, the library, you just come and read these books. Um. Yes. I mean, these kind of teach you about how the game works. If, if you're interested in that, make sure you stop by here. If you've never played this game before. Uh, what it also does is unlocks the telephone, uh, which allows you to call the old man and get basically updates. Yeah. And you'll come in here later on, and you can get that book once you have the the boots that let you run real fast. Uh, and then this book is actually part of the end game. Yeah. All right, then we'll go straight up here. Do -do -do. Nothing. Boom. Grab some hearts and jump in the hole. Oh god! And boom. Our first of thirty-two heart pieces. There are a total of thirty-two heart pieces to collect in the game. As well as 50 of the secret shells. Bye, Chain Chop. And we'll come over here. Do -do -do. Telephone. And uh, cut the grass. You want to gain about 10 rupees. Uh, you also have a secret shell right there. First of 50. Yeah. Cut the grass, try to collect about 10 rupees. You can collect as many as you like, but you need at least 10 for the next thing we're going to be doing. Right. Once you've collected your 10 rupees, you know, come over here to the Trendy game. Now this is just like any other crane game. You got two buttons. Up will let you go up. Right will let you go right. Uh, you need to hold the button until you get to where you want to be. If you let go too soon, well, you're screwed. You can't readjust. So. Yeah. Yes, one play, ten rupees. You pay ten rupees. And this may take you a bit to get used to. Oh. Hopefully that grabs. But the more you play this, the better you get at it. Oh, yeah, we go. You grab the 50 rupee. Now, it can fall out if you're unlucky, but looks like we did pretty good. There we go. You pay 10 rupees. You collect 50. Just like that. And that is how you rupee farm. You leave the house, go right back in, and bam, 50 rupees is back. And you do this over and over and over until you get a lots and lots of rupees. Now, to start with, you probably want to shoot for somewhere around four to five hundred. Ooh, nice shot. Uh, for a couple items that you need to buy. But, don't fall out, don't fall out. But, after you buy those items, other items will open up that are much more expensive. If you want to buy them all right off the bat, uh, I suggest spending about, I don't know, 20 minutes in here. 
it shouldn't take you more than about 20 minutes to collect about 1500 rupees. And that's exactly what I'm about to do. I'm about to grind the next 10 minutes and try to, uh, 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes and get me, uh, about 1500 rupees. And I will see you guys then. And that one fell out. Lovely. Uh, if it does fall out like that, don't don't waste your time trying to trying to pick that up. Just leave the shack and come on back. And it'll be standing up again. Let's see. I'm already over 400 rupees, and that took me maybe 10 minutes with a couple of unlucky moments where it kept dropping. Uh, at this point, if you don't want to shoot for the really, really expensive item after uh, buying the first set of items, uh, then you can just stop here and move on to the next part. I, of course, am going to keep playing. I'm actually going to try to grab the heart piece and the Yoshi right now. Boop! Damn, I was like dead on. Hit that heart piece. Bring it to me. Don't you dare drop it. <laughs> oh, that might not grab the Yoshi. Ah, uh, we'll see. Oh, did we get him? And I wish crank games in real life were this easy. And play again. Now, if you really wanted to, you could try for the red rupees, but they're only 20 at the cost of 10. Why? When you can just walk out, come back in, and pay 10 for 50. I mean, it's just a better deal. Don't waste your time. I got a Yosh! You can't count how many times you've seen him now. And another heart container. What a rare find, even though it was literally right there and was the easiest game in the world to play. Alright. <gasps> Whoa! You won the Yoshi doll! We've been trying to do that forever! Our mom is really desperate! To, to have one. She's, she's desperate to get one. She's not... Desperate in general. Alright, when you come back in, you got a few new items here uh, that you're gonna have to pay a little bit for because the purple ruby doesn't come back until you collect them. So we'll grab this chow chow here, a little chain chomp. Stay in there. And our next secret shell. Don't you dare fall out. Oh! Oof. Oh, that was close. Nope, we're good. You got a Chow Chow figure. There must be somewhere you can display it. Another secret shell. Put it to your ear and you hear those whispered secrets. Alright, well now I'm back to my money grind. And now that we have our 1500 rupees, we are ready to finally get past this boring part. Alright. And you know, still collect rupees on the way and all. Just cause why not? 
can never be too rich, right? Alright, from here, you want to make your way over to this nice little store. And you'll see here, 200 rupees for the shovel, 200 rupees for the piece of heart. Now, I'm going to show you a little something. Go ahead and save this. Ah, right. now, have you ever just saw something really nice that you wanted? She just didn't quite want to pay for it. That little spot right there. Yeah, come on. Hey. Hey. This little sweet spot. Yeah. Ah! So close. There we go. And you get it. Guess what? You got it for free. Are you proud of yourself? Now, as you can see, I have the item. I can dig holes. It's all mine. And uh, that's how you can get free items. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but if you didn't want to spend your 200 rupees for a shovel or your 200 rupees for a heart piece, you could do that. The downside to uh, taking something for free is the next time that you go back into the shop, the guy is sitting on the counter. Now you'll pay the ultimate price. Who knew the shopkeep was so powerful? He's probably like the ultimate enemy in the entire game. And it's game over for you. Now no matter what option you choose from here, retry or save and quit, it's going to count as a death for you. And stealing an item one time, you can never buy from the shopkeeper again. And there are other items that you might want to get or you're going to need to get to 100% this. And so therefore, being a thief, you can never get a perfect game. So, we are going to... Instead... Not do that. <laughs> not steal anything. We are not a thief. Even though technically we just stole something. We're not a thief. That is not how we roll. Gonna load my save file from before I was a thief. Oh, also, if you steal something, even if you take the loss of life and you continue playing, you your name will be replaced with Thief. For the entirety of the game, everybody will refer to you as Thief, including the Windfish himself. So, this game really wants to shame you <laughs> and from stealing things. Got a deluxe shovel! <laughs> ba -na -na -na. And that is another piece of heart. Now, just like with the crane game, you'll want to leave the shop and come back in to see new items. And this is the reason why I saved up and I played so much and farmed all of those rupees so that I can go ahead and get the bow early on. <laughs> and that is all we need for now. From here we'll make our way up. Uh, and there is going to be an item to get later on once we're able to move these rocks. We'll go in here. And yeah, we'll talk to this lady right here. Oh, will you give me that Yoshi doll to my baby? Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. And now I've got this cute little bow. Cute little bow that I cannot wear. 
Hop down. Make our way over to the ye old chain chump. Oops. And this little bee side shack. And we talk to Chow Chow. Makeup jewels, dresses, I want it all. Oh, that ribbon, I need it. Will you trade for my dog food? Aw, look how cute. And now I have dog food. It's full of juicy beef. And then... Come on, there we go. Secret shell, right there in the corner. Go on to the main house. My bow is so proud. Right here? That's where... Oh, wait, sorry. Right there. This is where Chow Chow goes. Boom. This one is, ch is Chow Chow in a different language. <laughs> okay. From here, we're gonna go up. And talk to Mr. Fisherman. How about some fishing, little buddy? Only 10 rupees. What a steal. Hold A to re and release it to cast your line out. The longer you hold it, the further you'll cast. And then you tug on your line with L and reel in with A. Now, good old fishing game. If you like Zelda fishing, this is where it all started. On the original Link's Awakening, this was the first time you ever got to fish. Oh, we cast out there kind of far, but we'll reel it in. Okay. Oh, nope. Nope. He was just tickling it. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. 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 Oh, come on. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. And when he's pulling the other direction, you want to release the A so that you don't break the line. Oh, so close, so close. Come on. And boom. Caught us a big one. You landed a little fish. Just like you, it's small. Oh. It's a runt. But you make more than you paid to get in there. And you catch the fish. Any fish, doesn't matter what fish you catch, you'll get a piece of heart for that one. Sure. Now, if you'll look down here in the bottom right, bottom left corner, because I know my directions left from right, of course. Bottom left corner, you'll see that there's, there's something behind that grass there. Now, it's a good idea to go ahead and try to get some of these fish out of the way. I mean, not only do you make money for the fish, but if you're trying to catch the bottle there in the, uh, the bottom there, all of the fish that are in your way will try to knock it loose. That little green one down there is definitely going to be a pain in the butt. But also... Nope. Alright. Got him! Ah. <sighs> That's a big fish. He's so heavy, you wish you'd caught something lighter. Wow! And for the new fish, you get a new medium weight lure. And a piece of heart. Alright, now, yes. We'll change the lures while we're here. And. We will go after that bottle this time. Uh, 
Dang! See? Told you. Told you the fish get in the way. Yeah. See? Jerks. Now, God. Not fast enough. No. Oh, yes. Yes. Finally. Got it. It's called a fairy bottle. It's only good for holding fairies. Unlike any of the other bottles in any other series. Any other game. There we go. Alright. After all you fishing, we're gonna head on out of town. Oh, keep hitting the wrong button. Head on out of town. The mysterious forest. Ooh, brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer, welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of mystery you will find in this uncharted Kohalint island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the tail cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Creepy. Yeah. Uh, there's a chest here. Once we get past the, uh... That's not a heart, sorry. There's a treasure chest here, once we get the ability to move the stones. As well as, obviously, one there. We'll head into this log here. Oh no! I forgot about that. I wasn't paying attention. Going after the keys. Break all these stones, push this rock out of the way, and treasure chest. Woo! 50 more Roop Roops! Don't stop or don't stop on the crack or you'll fall and break your own back. Not just your mama's. Guardian Acorn, it will reduce the damage you take by half. Now we're powered up. Anyways, uh, there's a heart piece in here. We'll have to come back and get laters. Boom. We don't have the ability to move those skulls yet. And the sh mushroom. It's a toadstool. Like from Mario, but not sentient. Okay. Now we just go back the way we come. Now we're gonna go this way, avoid the holes in the ground, obviously. Ooh, and we got a piece of power. This. I believe doubles your damage output. And there's a little fairy over here. She will heal you if you're hurt. Only if you're hurt, though.
And I've got Piece of Power and Guardian Acorn. I think you only have one at a time. Come out this way. And up, oh, look, another piece of heart. Yep. And a new area of the map. Put a heart there. Uh, if you remember these green little wiggly things from uh, Link to the Past, you can't hit those guys while they're electrified. It would give quite the shock. Come see the witch. It has the sleepy so toadstool it does. We'll mix it up something in a jiffy, we will. Oh, stir that! And now we have a bag of magic powder. Boom. And like she said, if you need more magic powder, you can go pick another toadstool or just pay her money. But, like she said, use it on your enemies. So that's where you come here and boom. And they become googly eyed. Crazy Tracy lives over there. Now we're leaving. Boom. And I actually missed this a minute ago. It's a secret seashell right there. Here? Oh, look at this kooky raccoon. My nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Oh, you don't say! Aha! Uh, he sneezed himself into knockoff Mario. Last thing I can remember. Oh, Taryn, there you are was biting into a big ju juicy toadstool. Then I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. Mario, you and those mushrooms. Alright, and then we come here. And there's that tail key we've been looking for. Oh, here comes Hoot Hoot. Hey, birdie. Woohoo! Take the key and go to Tail Cave. Yes, yes. Let's make our way back out. And we're back at Mob, Mabe, Mabe, Mabe I don't know, whatever, this village. Now this is where we're headed. To where all these little tail statues are. But first, we're gonna grab some stuff. Doof. You can knock those apples off the tree later. And... Come in here. This guy is just another part of that trade system. What's that? It's canned food. For heaven's sake, man, give that to me, please. I'm gonna lose it if I can't get that can. Well, you are dangerous looking. Uh, Rocket Gator? Crocagator? Yeah, you're a Crocagator. I don't know what type of thing you are. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> it's all sounded metallic and everything. <laughs> oh, yay! Bananas! Whoa! Won't be able to use those for a while. Make our way down, down, down. Ah, shut up, monkey. Treasure chest. Boop! Can't open the treasure chest except for right in front of it. So, go ahead and. Boop! Pop the treasure chest icon there. Come down here to this corner right here. No, right. Thank you. Seashell. And that is it for the collectibles that we can get so far. So, to wrap this up. Uh, we were able to, obviously, get the shovel that we needed. Uh, we got five pieces of heart. We got five secret seashells. The bottle, for catching fairies. And we even got the bow, pretty early on. Ow. Jerkweed. Oh, another piece of power. Nice. Also notice the piece of power gives you a kind of a speed boost. That's cool. He run faster. I like that. Oh, it fell in the hole. Ow. Jerk. And finally, we make it to our first dungeon. Alright guys, uh, that's where we'll stop for the first part of this. Next video probably will come out pretty next day or two. It's going to be tackling the first dungeon, but as of now we are perfectly set up. All of the items that you can get up to the point of starting your first dungeon. And we are on our way to that 100% perfect playthrough. All 32 heart pieces, all 50 secret she, 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 she. All secret seashells that she shells by the seashore. That that was way off. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Stick tuned. Stay tuned. God, let me just make up stuff now. Stay tuned for the next part of the video. And uh, like I said earlier, if you like what you saw, smash that subscribe button, drop me a like, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.